hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We was down for so long, didn't have no choice but to go up. What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. Today we're gonna be making some tamahung. It's a Lao dish papaya salad. It is so good. It's crunchy, spicy, savory, sweet, all at the same time. If you are a fan of all of those things and you like papaya or if you've never tried it, I would suggest that you try and stay tuned and watch this video and try it for yourself. If not, you can always buy it. I will be leaving a description in the description box with all the ingredients so it'll let you know everything that you need for this recipe. I just wanted to jump right into this video so without further ado, let's get started. Okay so we're going to use the mortar and pestle and this is like the, the mold of this whole recipe. It's kind of like a requirement that you have one of these things. If you don't have one, I suggest that you invest in one. I got this one for like $10 at the Lao Market, a small size because I have a small family, but you can, um, yeah, definitely get one of those. So all the stems are off of my Thai chili, and now I'm going to add garlic. Uh, this part is like based off of your spice level, so if you order like a spice level 5 whenever you go to like a Thai or Lao restaurant, then you want to put like 5 Thai chilies. If you order like a level number one, then you want to put like a two, one to two Thai chilies. I put this many because I personally like a lot and honestly I wanted to put more, but uh, I know that my family probably would, wouldn't have wanted it that spicy. But yeah, so I'm just crushing this up and uh, once it's crushed, it looks like this. So make sure that it's crushed really good because once you mix all those juices and stuff you don't want like big thick chunky garlic or you know um thai chili so i just added my oyster sauce um i kind of don't have like tablespoons or teaspoon sizes but i i just add what i think is enough and then i added my fish sauce now i'm gonna get ready to add my crab uh, it has like actual crab claws in there and like some juices. I honestly don't know the name of this, but I will find it out and put it in the description box. Um, yeah, so I like to add a lot. Uh, some people I know only add one or two, however many you think is good. Um, then I'm going to add my crab paste. Yeah, I don't have like sizes. I just put what I think is good and I taste it at the end. And if it tastes off, I just add to what I think is missing, I guess you can say. So this is MSG. I personally like MSG in my food. This is very optional, but I think that it brings it, the flavor. It just comes together a hundred times more, but this is totally optional. Uh, you can just only use sugar. That's totally up to you. These are my limes. I'm gonna roll them first to get all those juices out when I squeeze. And then, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze that lime juice. I like a lot of lime juice, but totally up to you what you like. And once I get done squeezing uh, my lime juice in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl that around and mix it all together. Um, normally, I make uh, like very small portions, but my family were starting to eat a lot of papaya, so I have to make more. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut my green beans in like one to two inch bite sizes so I can mix that around in my salad for a fresh crunch. It tastes so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have my how half my cherry tomatoes like so and now I'm gonna add my papaya to that uh, stuff that I just mixed the Thai chili garlic crab sauce fish sauce I'm gonna just go ahead and 
uh, use my pestle and pound that on in there. You can use your hand to cover your top or like use like something to cover so all the juices don't go back flying back into your face and your eye because it stings and it burns really bad. So I added my cherry tomato and my green bean. Now I'm going to go ahead and smash that around. You can see my hand covering because I really don't want those juices to fly back and sting me in the eye. And um, Or you can use like a lid of like a, a pan or something. I don't know. Just cover it. And that is it you guys. So you just keep mixing it around until all those juices are covering the papaya. Uh, now it's time to taste it. You know, make sure it tastes good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next. And turn on the post notifications. If you're a fan of pho, I will be making this dish in my next video. This is galpiak, a chicken noodle soup in Lao community. It is so good. You yourself can make this dish if you stay tuned and watch my next video.